What is your evaluation of China's current leadership, particularly with President Xi Jinping's historic third term at the 20th Party Congress last year and the recent two sessions this year? How do you think the unprecedented third consecutive term of President Xi Jinping will affect the support of Chinese people for the Communist Party and China's perception of the United States in the future? Well, in response to your question, I'd like to lean back into Chinese history a little bit. Um, as uh, Xi Jinping has taken his third term and uh, broken recent precedents to extend his personal rule in China, many people focus on how much like Mao Zedong he is and that Mao was unfettered of personal authority in China. <clears throat> and then on how Deng Xiaoping really liberated Chinese economic and other powers um, by limiting that authority of the central leader and by putting both time limits and uh, personal power limits on those positions. Um, but I would take you back further in history, go back to the imperial period when China had dynasties and the emperors ruled for short and long periods in those dynasties. And um, you know, back in the Enlightenment period, the 18th century in Europe, the Jesuits who had gone to China uh, recorded the their impression of very high level of civilization in China because they had, you know, this extremely well trained bureaucracy and very strict rules about promotion, and the emperor provided constant leadership for long periods of time, and this was admired in the West when people were looking at the corruption and problems of European uh, monarchies. Um, today, we all look down on what Xi Jinping is doing because we see this as out of tune with modern times, uh, trying to extend your rule. But like the Confucian emperors, um, the Communist Party of China has interesting in internal discipline. They do not promote people casually. You have to prove yourself in multiple positions, whether it's in the bureaucracy in Beijing or in provincial bureaucracies. You have to achieve positive economic results and, uh, and not get into trouble with corruption and other issues before you get major promotions. That is a source of strength for Xi Jinping. He can lean on a party, 97 million people out of the 1.4 billion Chinese who um, have been competing with each other for advancement and therefore keeping an eye on each other and sort of bringing, bringing some quality and discipline to their rule. So that's the positive side of Xi Jinping uh, leaning on Chinese tradition. The negative side is that we saw so often that one man rule really brings on trouble. Mao Zedong was the most recent example, but you can think back to many imperial dynasties when the ruler went out of touch. Um, I, I can think of you know large numbers. In the middle of the 18th century, Qianlong was an emperor of great success. It was the richest country in the world and most uh, widely respected in many ways. Of his long 60-some year rule, uh, the country was falling apart. It had overexpended its resources. Its uh, bureaucracy had lost its edge and had become caught up in dramatic uh, studies of arcane philosophical material, and they had less practical experience to bring. And I think what Xi Jinping, to put it all in summary, what Xi Jinping has now done is to invite a comparison with the both the strengths and the weaknesses of China's tradition. And I have to say, we have, you know, in modern management science, modern political science, there are issues referred to as such as span of control. What can you actually control? With 1.4 billion people, what can one man do when he concentrates power uh, as he has and as he continues to concentrate power as time goes on? The latest uh, National People's Congress and CPPCC, which met this past two weeks, further consolidated the party and his personal control over what had been basically technocratic institutions in China that pursued their own 
technocratic and, and national interests. So I think um, it's a problematic move on the part of Xi Jinping, and it's a step backward overall for China. Now, you asked how the people respond to this. I think the popular impression, as best we can tell from uh, the kinds of things that we can access, like the, the, the social media and the like, uh, supports what he's doing because the, he so far has not stumbled or brought about dramatic failure. I know that intellectuals do not share that view. Intellectuals feel very alienated. Um, of course, if you're part of Xi Jinping's own circle, you're empowered and you move up. But those people who've been pushed out of the central uh, uh, circles of power uh, are feeling, well, when's my time? Do I get a chance? And they, they will become a source of erosion of that authority, I think, over time. I, right now, it's just my thought. Uh, but I think before long, we will have, I think, growing evidence that span of control of one man over 1.4 billion people is uh, not efficient enough to deliver the results the Chinese people will want. I'll give you one small example. We've had that recent incident between the U.S. and China over a balloon flying across the U.S., uh, allegedly spying on the U.S. Um, that's the sort of thing that happens when one man tries to control everything. How would he know that a unit down in Hainan Island was building a large balloon that would fly over the U.S. on the eve of meeting with the Secretary of State of the United States? Um, in the U.S., we would probably have some rules about not doing that at that time, uh, the way this happened. But it shows you that the leader can give general instructions, but the system is so huge that he cannot possibly orchestrate the moves. Uh, you know, just back in the 1970s, when China reopened relations with the U.S., Mao Zedong and Zhou Enlai really had their fingers on everything because everything was very few. They didn't, have, they didn't try to do everything. They just did the things that mattered. Um, Xi Jinping is trying to do too much, and he's likely to have more uh, mistakes like the one with the balloon over the United States.